So hello guys, welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel. In this video, we are going to see how we can create lightning email template with the help of lightning template builder. And in this video, you can see uh, we are going to create a template something like this. And in the next video, you can see uh, like how we can use this lightning email template into the email alert and then use that email alert into our Salesforce flow. The next video will be uploaded after three days of this video. So without any delay, let's get started. here you can see so to create lightning template in the lightning experience what you need to do is click on app launcher and type lightning email template or you can say email templates click on email template and click on new email template Let's say uh, I'm going to create an email template. Uh, whenever an account is created, we need to send a welcome email to the user. So let's say account creation welcome email. Related entity is account and folder, let's say public email template. Subject, let's say welcome. to the Ohana and click save. So now if you can see uh, there is an edit button right if you click on edit you can create your template over here let's say you write anything uh, or whatever. So you can create a lightning email template over there but if you want to create a template with a template builder there are certain settings which you need to do in your salesforce org so i'm going to let you know how you can use template builder in lightning to create a beautiful lightning email template so right now you can see i am inside a account creation welcome email template and you cannot see the button which is edit in builder right because you don't have the permission initially when you are in the org so to get the permission what you need to do is go to setup and you need to create a permission set so type permission set over there click on permission sets and click on new now click on label let's say template builder permission api name will be automatically populated and hit save now what you need to do simply scroll it over the permission set settings and go to system permissions click on edit and you need to simply use command f or control f if you are uh, using windows so simply type drag so here you can see ss drag and drop content builder you need to simply click on this checkbox and hit save so basically you need the ss drag and drop content builder permission to create template in your salesforce or hit save and now click on manage assignment and assign yourself into the permission set. Add assignment. Select Shubham Bharadwaj user and click assign. Click done. Now, if I go back to the lightning email template that I created on account creation welcome email, if I refresh this, here you can see edit in builder button over there, right? So that's why we need to create a permission set and provide SS Dragon uh, content builder setting uh, to the user. And if now you can click on this edit in builder, let's say click on this, you will navigate to this uh, kind of UI where you can build your custom lightning email template, you can modify them, you can, you can like uh, change a lot of setting of your email templates. So let me uh, just provide you an overview like how lightning email template builder like what are the things that lightning template builder contains so on the left hand side you can see there is a accordion which is standard which contain four elements and layout like six elements so if i click on standard one you will see four elements over there which is button html image and rich text so basically button if you want to put any button on your lightning email template html if you have any code which you want to use in your lightning email template so you can use like html code over there and 
if you want to know like how we can uh, create beautiful template with the uh, html code you can check out my uh, video which is showing in the i button and i will also put the link in the description of this video so you can uh, definitely check it out from there yeah so now uh, the third option is image you can use any image on in your salesforce flow you can use any image in your salesforce lightning email template as you can see on the thumbnail of this video i created a beautiful template over there with the help of two images and rich text and a button right and rich text will be like a dynamic body if you want to provide dynamic body into your lightning email template you can use rich text now you can also see six uh, layouts over there which you can adjust according to your use case or business scenario to make it more effective you can uh, use these layouts now on the right hand side you can see details and style so if you go to details uh, there are no uh, major things over there just uh, email template name description if you want to provide uh, these are editable from the lightning email templates uh, setting uh, which we just go go through the uh, app launcher and in the style you can change the background of your lightning email template let's say if i select any other color and click done you can see the color is changed let me just reverse it back because i prefer it white and my template looks good on white and here you can see body if you want to adjust body setting like uh, when you put some images or you can say like what is the difference between the top and the content of your email template so it is like 10 pixel from each corner if you want to change the color of the body of the email template you can select it let's say red and click done here you can see the template uh, body changed the color of the template body is changed and that's how you can do it so let's make it white again and hit done now what you can do is simply drag and drop elements to your lightning email template body let's say first of all i am going to use an image which is like a welcome image so let's drag and drop an image over there now in the right hand side you can see i have several settings like first of all you need to select which image you want to display over the email template so let's click on select from files and here i need to upload an image which i just downloaded from the internet so let's say go to desktop and here is a folder flow images and here you can see i'm going to upload welcome image click on open so now you can see the image is automatically applied over the body of the lightning email template now you can simply play with this image you can make the uh, size uh, like small or you can adjust the width and all you need to simply click on this style tab and here you can see the image if you want to adjust the image width you can so let let's say i'm going to provide 50 over there because uh, it's a very big image so yeah this image looks very perfect and you can use it and now here you can see we have three options if you want to put this image into uh, left side right side or center you can also provide margin let's say if i provide margin from top let's say 10 so it will shift from top to bottom uh, 10 pixel so let's say here you can see like this so let's make it zero you can play it according to your uh, design or what uh, template you want to achieve for now this looks good and now i'm going back to the content and now what i'm going to do is use a rich text okay so now rich text means you can provide dynamic text over there if you click on the insert text here you will see in the right hand side there will be a format let me click on it invalid component and let's type anything welcome to the team and now i am i need to provide the name of the uh, receiver who is received the email right so what i am going to do is click on the merge field and here you can see account object over there from here you need to select name so click on this radio button and click insert here you can see welcome to the team account name we are happy have you so simply you can uh, write anything which you want to write 
लेट से आई वॉन्ट वन मोर मैसेज प्लीज कॉन्टेक्ट टू द डेस्क सपोर्ट If you have any queries or technical issues, right? Now let's say on the support one, I am going to provide a link to the user so that he or she can navigate from clicking on support uh, text. so what you can do is select the text which you want to make it a link and click on this link what icon and here you can type the website or whatever the uh, portal your company is using uh, to basically to navigate for the new joiners so let's say i'm right now i'm going to type my website name over there let's say salesforce geek dot in and hit save so here you can see let me click on the invalid component i don't know what hap what is happening right now so guys this is the problem which you can face uh, during a uh, creation of lightning email template so i prefer you to save your template basically so right now i need to refresh it because i don't know what's uh, happening over there so i can easily uh, like drag and drop it's not an big issue so right now like first of all i need to drag and drop an image let's say select an image over there select from files so now i already uploaded the image so i can simply use it and i can change the style to 50 now i made this change so make sure to save your lightning email template time to time because it is causing some issue i don't know like maybe it is new that's why or uh, it might be like any bug or something so i suggest you to save your uh, lightning email template for each step so let's say drag and drop a rich text so let's say right here welcome to the team now i need to select the name so let's say click on account name select account name click insert we are happy to help you right now in the next line you can say please reach out to the desk support if you have any kind of technical issue right now here you can see support so i want to make it uh, make the support as clickable so what i can do is first of all save this because i don't want to uh, make it again so let's click on this support text and select link over there type www dot salesforce geek dot in and hit save again save this <laughs> because uh, I don't want to create this again otherwise it will <laughs> like video will be too long I don't want you guys to see it again and again right so here you can see this is a basic normal dynamic text now what I want I want to provide a button uh, for the user to order his or her own boarding kit, right? So what I can do? Simply drag and drop a button to the Lightning email template, and again you can play with your button also. Like if you go to the style, you can make the font font size bigger. Let's say fifty. So here you can see your button will be uh, very big. Let's say I'm going to make it. to 16 because because it looks good if you want to change the button color let's say a little gray or what something let's say blue so if i you click in you can say color is also changed but i prefer black because to my template black is looking pretty good so now what i'm going to do is if you want to change the border color you can again like it's a uh, your own choice how you want to create your lightning email template this looks perfect for me if you want to change the button size you can and let's say position if you want to make it left you can uh, just select it left if you want to make it center select center and similarly for right let's click on it and here you can see there will be one more option where you can like make the color or you can say corner radius 
you can make your button corners little uh, curvy so let's see if i provide 30 over there so here you can see my button is like in a curve shape but i prefer it like with corners one i feel like i feel it is good so that's why i did not provide any corner radius or maybe let's say five yeah this looks good now you want to basically save this first of all save this uh, lightning email template now let's say click on this button and now provide the url which you want your user to navigate let's say www.youtube.com right and slash salesforce geek so i am navigating my user to my youtube channel but obviously like according to your scenario you can wherever the place you want to navigate now in the button text let's say select order onboarding kit so you can see or let's say make it order your kit yeah this looks perfect now what you can say hit save now i bring one more image for the footer of my lightning email template so you can see like there is a lot of space just behind the just bottom at the bottom of the this button so i can use this space as a footer which looks good or make my lightning email template very attractive again you can use anything like you can uh, create a use a html code for the footer or whatever you want to use it's up to you this is just a demo which i am showing you like how you can use your lightning email template builder to create templates right so let's drag and drop an image over there and let's select from files i need to upload an image and let's say i'm going to use this building image which looks really cool and click on open so now you can see our template is looking something like this let me hit save and let's go back to the lightning email template so i hope you enjoy this tutorial where i am creating beautiful images so here you can see like the space between the uh, line and this order your kit button will be very less so let's go to edit in builder again and provide some space over there so let's say go to select you select your button and move to style let's say i'm going to use the button size and padding from top let's 30. sorry uh, this will change the internal padding let's say position margin from top let's say 20. yeah now this looks good hit save and go back to your lightning email template so now here you can see we have some space between the uh, dynamic text and in our order your kit button and obviously this looks good let me know in the comment box whether you like my uh, this little template or not that's it from today's video i hope you enjoy this video and i will be creating one more video where i am going to use this lightning email template in our email alert and then we are going to use this email alert into your salesforce flow builder and we can send this email template to our user thank you so much if you're watching this video till now see you in another video